Hey everybody, in this video we're going to explore all about routing with LLMs. In the first uh, file, we're going to explore how we can route a user query to a specified LLM based on the context of the query. For example, complex in-depth questions go to GPT-4 Omni, code, all code questions go to 3.5 Sonnet, and simple daily conversations go to Llama 3 8 billion. In our second more advanced example, we will do the same. We will route to different models. But then for each model, we will have three separate uh, system messages for each one, which we will use to route to as well. So for example, if the user gets routed to Lama 3 8 billion for a casual conversation, we have a friendly conversational assistant, a virtual assistant, an empathetic listener, for example. And for cloud code-related questions, we have an expert software engineer, data scientist, and a full-stack web developer. And finally, we're going to look at a customer service routing service uh, where the user query gets routed to either electronics, fashion, home garden, or books or media departments. So let's begin to see how these work. Uh, this first file, by the way, is available on my Patreon for free, and the rest of the two will be available for Connoisseur Plus patrons. Link will be in the description. We'll also be reviewing the code, but let's just run this and see how it works. So we're first routing, running the LLM router. This is to decide which model to speak to. For example, if I just say hi, we get routed to Llama 3 8 billion. But if I were to say something like I want to learn about Roman history, then we get routed to GPT-4 Omni. So we get a response from a larger model. And this uh, swapping and routing is happening in real time during the single conversation. Let's ask, give me a code example for random number generation. And now we are getting routed to Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. So this code, which we will review shortly, actually is able to route to different uh, language models, depending on your use case. You can also imagine the, making this more dynamic, such as counting the tokens in the message history. And if it hits a certain level, using smaller, cheaper models, such as Llama 3, 8 billion or Phi series models. So this example should give you uh, plenty to work with if, to get inspired and adapt it to your own use case. So now, if we were to uh, run the advanced routing, which does the same thing, but with also uh, different system messages. For example, if I were to just say hi, not only we get routed to Llama 3, 8 billion, but we are also using, we get routed to the system message, you're a friendly conversational AI. Now, if I were to say, I am having, if I were to say I'm having difficulty finishing my project, then we get routed to GPT-40 and it says you're an advanced scientific researcher with expertise across multiple disciplines. If I were to say, well, I should quit my job or not, we again get routed to GPT-40. Uh, who is a skilled philosopher and ethicist? I would say, I just don't feel good today. Then we get routed to Lama 3 8 billion to the empathetic listener. If I were to say, I want to learn fast API, then we get routed to Cloud 3.5 Sonnet to the system message that says you are a full stack web developer with expertise in modern web technologies. So we'll review this one too, but let's check out the last one the customer service router. So customer service router has several system messages with some products in each one of them. So when we run this, and let's say I want to start gardening peppers, uh, and now we get connected to the home garden department, and uh, uh, the agent there, which is automatically endowed with this home garden uh, system message, is actually responding to us saying, that uh, while we don't currently have pepper plants, which they don't have, uh, we can see that they don't have plants. They have only uh, apple, pear, and cherry, apparently. Uh, but it explains that actually they have Miracle Go All Pro, Miracle Go Pro All Purpose Garden uh, soil fertilizers. So it's actually explaining uh, how, if I were to say, I also need a new laptop. Then we get directed to the electronics department and they have MacBook Air M2 and Dell XPS 15. And if you were to take a look at the system message, yeah, they do have those two laptops. So uh, let's begin reviewing the code. Like I said, the first file is freely available on my Patreon and the rest of them are available for Connoisseur Plus patrons. The link will be in the description. 
I would like to take a moment to talk about the benefits of becoming a patron. As some of you may know, in the last year and a half, I've spent 3,000 hours, over 300 uh, projects as a patron. You will have access to all the code files so you can get inspiration and iterate quickly. Another benefit is that you'll have access to all my courses and my most recent and most proud one, the 1000X Masterclass, teaching how I what I've learned on how to code fast and efficiently. Also the Streamlit course and the Fast API course. In my Patreon, I also have tiers in which you can connect with me one-on-one. -on -one. Check those out as well. So for this uh, to work, we are using regular OpenAI with GPT-40 in JSON mode for routing. And we are using uh, open router models, which have quite a lot of models. Actually, this idea came to us during uh, our my AMA meeting with my patrons. Uh, and we were seeing that actually open router already has model routing, which you should check it out. But uh, I suggested that we can do much more customized routing because they offer plenty of models. So you will need open router for this to work as well. So we initialize OpenAI with our OpenAI API key and we initialize open router uses OpenAI libraries. We just have to change the base URL and we initialize it with our open router API key. And we generate a generic uh, message handler before open router, which is going to take in a model name, user query, and an optional system message. We initialize a messages list. If we have a system message, we append it. Otherwise, we always accept user message. And then we simply make the call with the model name and messages and return the response. Now our router is going to be GPT-4 Omni with uh, uh, JSON mode. The system message is that you're a helpful router designed to output JSON. Uh, you decide which route the user input belongs to based on the type of query. Return your response as follows, and we design a schema. So we wanted to return a route key with the route name, and we say it can be one of the following. This is the model name for the open uh, GPT-4 Omni at open router. And I do mention that the all has to be at the end because sometimes it misses it. For more, this is for for more complex, in-depth questions and queries. Accept code, we say. Uh, Cloud three points assign it for all code queries. I guess this, this could have been more descriptive, but made, uh, I have that made it more descriptive in the next file. Uh, and Meta Meta Llama three eight billion is for simple day-to-day -day, uh, regular speak conversations, and we put the user input. We should now return a route. And if within our for loop, we take in user input, I'm sorry, while loop, we take in user input, and then we call the router, get the model, and then uh, we look at the route key, and then we print which route we are using. And if it is GPT-4, you can also add a custom system message if you want. And we called open router completion with that model, user input, and a custom system message. This is just here for demonstration purposes. Otherwise, if it's 3.5, we call that. So as you can see, it's very simple. So in our next file, we expand on this. Again, our initialization is the same. Open router completion remains the same, except we are using streaming responses. We pretty much initialize a streaming assistant response. We check if delta.content is there. Then we append the chunk content into assistant response. We print it and return the accumulated assistant response. So now we have a primary router, which is going to route just as we have done to either GPT-4 Omni, Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, or Llama 3, 8 billion. But here, saying it like this, this route doesn't accept programming related queries was actually much better than previous example. And here we said for all code and programming related queries go to, goes to 3.5 Sonnet. And we simply return the route, the route key, so it makes our life easier. Uh, just pay attention to that, because in the previous one, we were uh, extracting the key right here. Anyway, now, now the function itself returns it. Now our secondary router, again, uh, using GPT-4 Omni, says you're a secondary router for, uh, yeah, I guess we didn't really need that. I guess we can say you're a secondary router for system messages for LLM models based on the user input. Please choose the most appropriate system message. Uh, actually, I do realize now why we did need that, my bad. Because once our first first router returns a model, then this is a secondary router for GPT-4 model. 
Uh, that's why, because this is going to be responsible for complex queries. And the options are you're a masterful English literary expert, you're an advanced scientific researcher, and you're a skilled philosopher and ethicist. So yeah, this is for the GPT-40 model. The secondary router for Claude uh, includes, uh, because it's programming related, you're an expert software engineer, a data scientist, and a full stack web developer. But the, not to be confused, the router is always GPT-4 Omni because we are using JSON mode. But these are the system messages that are designed for the uh, Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. And for the secondary router for Llama, uh, we have your friendly conversationalist, helpful virtual assistant, or an empathetic listener, a supportive uh, assistant, right? And here in each case, we are returning the system messages. So it is in our main chat loop. We take in a user input, we check the model by calling primary router, we print it, and then we check which model we are uh, using, and then we actually get a system message for each router. And we print the system message, and now we actually call open router completion with the model name, user input, and the system message. Since we are actually using uh, uh, the streaming responses, we actually don't need this. As you can see, we are not using the response, but nevertheless, this is how it works. So now let's move on to the customer service router. So this is actually quite easy. Uh, as you can see, you can use uh, you know, large language models to do all sorts of routing. There's no limit to how complex you can make this actually. You can have multiple layers of routing. Uh, I wanted to be able to demonstrate it. You can also include detailed uh, system messages, or you can work with a database. It's all up to you, really. But so this is the customer service router.py, and we are uh, initializing the clients for both OpenAI and Open Router. Okay, be before I forget, the requirements for this is OpenAI and term color for colorful printing, of course. Uh, so here we create a dictionary for department system messages. So electronics key includes. You're a custom service agent for Galactic Cards Electronics Department, and here are some products. And same for fashion and home garden and books and media, includes books and ebooks and audiobooks, stuff like that, movies and music as well. Uh, this is the same open router completion we're using with streaming responses. And the department router is going to say you're a helpful router for Galactic Cards customer service based on the user input determine which department. So this is going to return it to electronics or queries related to electronics, fashion for clothing, shoes, home garden for home goods, furniture, and gardening, books and media. So as soon as it returns this key, now we know, and we can actually immediately pick a system message from here. So you can actually make it multi-layer, but this, this goes to show uh, it's actually quite uh, simple in this case. So when we enter our chat loop, we pretty much get a user input. Uh, we print, you know, uh, welcome to Galactic Cars customer service. We get a department name, and now we say connecting to you that, to that department. And then we, we uh, get the system message from that department messages dictionary. And then we pretty much call open router completion with actually uh, here we are calling it to uh, Cloud 3.5 Sonnet because we don't change the model in this case. You can actually if you want. But what we are changing is a system message along with uh, you know whatever the user has said. So this is it. I hope you enjoyed this. I think routing is uh, quite a lot of fun. You can use it in all sorts of creative ways. Like I said, the first file is available for free and the second two will be available at my Patreon for Connoisseur Plus members. Also, I started posting quite a lot on my Twitter and I post some uh, content that you can find on my YouTube. Do check it out if you like. It's at hive underscore echo. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. I would like to take a moment to talk about the benefits of becoming a patron. As some of you may know, in the last year and a half, I've spent 3,000 hours, over 300 uh, projects. As a patron, you will have access to all the code files so you can get inspiration and iterate quickly. Another benefit is that you'll have access to all my courses and my most recent and most proud one, the 1000X Masterclass, teaching how I what I've learned on how to code fast and efficiently. Also, the Streamlit course and the Fast API course. In my Patreon, I also have tiers in which you can connect with me one-on-one. -on -one. Check those out as well.